So in this first example, um, basically what we're going to do in this one is we're looking into graphing it. Now you guys can see there's two functions and you guys have these two functions written down on your sheet of paper, right? So you guys know exactly what these two functions look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relate to what our warm-up was and we're going to do this. Now, at this point in time, you guys should say, all right, well, we have two basic equations, x cubed and y equals absolute value of x. Now, I'm going to do this the sh long way the first time. On your notes, you guys know that this graph looks like this. On your notes, you know this graph looks like this. All right? I mean, you guys just wrote it down. Okay? Now, we got to go by what the constraint is. See how I wrote that over there? Right? I did that on purpose. And there, you guys did this correctly. So there's no reason we can't do this correctly. You have the function, and then what you have is the domain. You graph the function only for its domain. Here's x cubed. We only want to graph x cubed for less than or equal to 0. Closed. Here's positive. Here's negatives, right? So anything positive is not a part of the graph. So we erase. Actually, you know what, later. I'll just do them together. Actually, yeah. So x is less than or equal to 0. We erase. Here, absolute value graph, domain is x is greater than 0. So that's the positive values, right? So anything that's not greater than 0, we erase. But again, what is, is, that, is it included at 0 or excluded? So we've got to put a nice little hole there, right? Now all we do to graph the piecewise functions is take both the functions and put them together. So now if you put a, hole, if you put a filled in hole on top of an empty hole, are you going to now have a filled in hole? Yes. And there you go. Okay. Now, 